What is the tea, everybody? Don't look at my hair. I'm just coming at you uh, with something real quick. I'm not going to even hold y'all long because I'm, you know what I'm saying? Your girl's on the run. I just want to know what is going on with uh, the kids because um, back to back, I saw two uh, stories that are just very um, disturbing. So um, if anybody has answers, please let me know. Okay, so first thing, we have the seven-year-old. Both stories about a seven-year-old. Also, um, welcome, subscribe, thumbs up, blah, 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 whatever. We're going to run through this quickly because I'm just trying to get right to it. Um, so two seven-year-olds. First seven-year-old, um, Steals the keys to his parents' car, goes on a joy ride, looking for a slushie at the 7-Eleven, driving down the freeway, going the wrong way. Have y'all seen this story? What? Like, how? Okay, first of all, where where was the parents? How did this seven-year-old have enough time to make it out of the house, make it in the car, buckle the seatbelt, turn the car on, get out of the driveway, and just, like, out of the neighborhood and at no point? Because the way I understood the story was um, the parents didn't even notice that he was gone. Um, you had strangers getting out of their vehicles on like the highway, like not even like a side street, but like he's going down the wrong way on the highway. Like what? And strangers are like trying to stop him and, and, and just there's like, oh, he's just blissfully unaware of the danger that he's in. And the dad, all the dad had to say was, oh, he's still blissfully unaware of the danger that he was in. And I'm just like, what? Second story, seven-year-old on the bus. There was a stop on the bus. He gets to the bus stop and the seven-year-old is like, this isn't my stop. I don't live here. Like, take me to where I actually live. And the sub is just like, mm, get off. You can walk home. What? To a seven-year-old. So this so this little boy is forced off the bus. It's not his stop. The sub, I guess, has the wrong address sheet. I don't know who dropped the ball there, but like, whatever, right? So the kid Luckily, it is in a familiar neighborhood. I don't know if it was his old neighborhood or what, but he found the house of someone that he, like, kind of knew. So, he goes up, and, you know, people got the little ring doorbell, you know what I'm saying? You can see people up in the little woo, woo So, he goes up to the door, and he's crying, and then the lady comes to the door, because the little boy, he's crying, and he's like, yeah, my bus driver made me get off the bus. Like, I don't want my mom to worry. Like, and he just, of course, he's shattered like he he's scared right so the lady's like oh it's okay and come in like we'll help you find anyways so now of course the school superintendent and all this would they want to try to call and be like oh yeah we're personally investigating this that bus driver doesn't now the thing that got me was they kept saying that the bus driver doesn't drive in that district anymore but nobody ever really said that that bus driver couldn't drive at all anymore anywhere at any time it just seems like a lot of people dropped the ball here uh, another reason you need to pay people more to be able to do their job correctly also don't make seven year olds get off the bus if a child is saying that they don't live there especially at seven like they know that they don't live there or they're saying it for a reason there has to be a protocol call the like the bus depot call the school and say hey this child is refusing to get off the bus like they're saying they don't live here like what and also make sure you're updating the right information like why are seven year olds out here just living life what is going on um anyways this is just me checking in with a couple of quick questions how are you guys doing i hope everything is well subscribe thumbs up and um yeah short sweet this week and um yeah i will see you little nelly villians in the next video don't forget to listen to the podcast and uh yeah thanks so much again bye